today we are going to see the simple process of hand scaling. Here we have arranged the instruments starting from the diagnostic instruments, mouth mirror, probes, explorer, tweezer, additionally you can have a neighbor's probe, and then your scalers, scalers, your anterior scaler, two sets of posterior scalers, sickle scaler, four scalers, the bow scalers and your medium sized sickle scaler. Now let's look on to how do we do the hand scaling. Principles of instrumentation goes like this. Number one, you have accessibility, visibility, illumination. Then comes your retraction. And the next point is condition and sharpness of the instrument. Condition and sharpness of the instrument. Then comes maintaining a clean field. After maintaining a clean field, you have to start with the instrumentation. So there comes instrument stabilization which involves holding the instrument in the right way say the modified pen grasp and the hand rest next comes your instrument activation where you have to actually activate the instrument so to start with in this model we have placed some amount of calculus now I am going to show you how we are going to remove the calculus so as I told you instrumentation two main aspects are instrument stabilization and instrument activation instrument stabilization goes like this hold your instrument like this so your middle finger is towards the terminal shank of the instrument here then your index finger is well above the middle finger and on the top and see it's bent at the second joint this is your second joint here is your first joint this is your second joint then comes your thumb which is resting on the somewhere midway between the middle finger and the index finger so this is how you hold your instrument then comes your instrument stabilization where you actually stabilize the instrument with your ring finger and your little finger like this Say for example, you are going to do scaling here in this tooth, okay. So nicely this has to cup on to the neighboring teeth. This is called as a conventional finger wrist. Cup on to your neighboring teeth like this. And then hold your instrument well and try to activate it by removing the calculus from here, okay, like this. Once you have removed it, you can also tilt the instrument like this. Meanwhile, this debris can be removed with the help of your cotton. You can have a cotton somewhere down like this. Okay. You can imagine your lip is down here. You remove the calculus. Now, for the other side, you are just turning your instrument like this. Okay, turning the instrument, the lateral surface, you are removing the calculus. You see, ensure that the calculus is completely removed. You can also use your cotton to remove of the remaining debris. So this is a small wax. You will not feel the hardness. It's just to demonstrate to you how instrument instrumentation can play a vital role. Okay, so this is what you have to keep practicing. Practice it on your typho. So you should not go below the gingiva at all. I'm just demonstrating for the 
two centers then go repeat it on the other side of the Still some more is there in interdentally so that also can be removed. You can also use your sickle. Thank you.